what Node.js actually is. Node.js is an open source cross-platform runtime environment for developing server-side web applications. Node.js is built on the Google Chrome V8 JavaScript engine, which makes it very, very fast. It is event-driven and uses a non-blocking I.O. model. And this makes it asynchronous and one of the biggest advantages for using asynchronous operations is that you can maximize the usage of a single CPU as well as memory. All right. The simple answer to what Node.js is, is it's JavaScript on the server, okay, because uh, usually JavaScript is executed on the client in the browser, but Node.js allows it to be on the server. So the course description. In this course, we'll be creating 12 different web applications using Node.js, along with uh, many other technologies, mostly our Node modules. All right, we'll be using NPM, which is Node Package Modules, and it allows us to extend the functionality beyond the core Node system. So there'll be 12 sections and 12 projects, one per section. There'll be 5 to 10 lectures per section, and lectures will include one video and any project files from that lecture, including documents. So what you should know, you should know HTML and CSS. You should have a basic understanding of JavaScript, also a basic understanding of programming fundamentals. So things like variables, arrays, conditionals, loops, um, all that good stuff. If you know that, then that's really going to help you out. And then knowing about HTTP requests and RESTful interfaces, definitely not required, but will definitely help you out if you do uh, have an idea of what some of that stuff is. So here's some of the technologies we'll be using. Obviously, Node.js. NPM comes with Node.js, so you don't have to worry about any uh, extra installation or anything like that. The Express Framework, a very popular Node module, gives us an entire um, MVC web framework along with a server. We'll be using that in most of our projects. Asynchronous programming, of course. Uh, we'll, one or two of our projects will be using Kraken, which is an extra layer that runs on top of Express to give us more functionality and security. Uh, Drywall, which is a user management system. Bcrypt, which can encrypt and hash passwords. Passport, which is a really flexible user authentication system. Socket.io, which allows us to take advantage of WebSockets, uh, HTTP, and REST. Bootstrap and Foundation are front-end CSS frameworks that we'll be using, and then also Malter, which is a file uploading module. So some of the databases and ORMs we'll be using, MongoDB is the most popular, and we'll be installing MongoDB locally, and then we'll also have a couple projects where we'll use a remote MongoDB database with MLab. Some of the ORMs that we'll use are Mongoose, Monk, and MongoJS. These just allow us to interact with the database easily. And then we'll also use Apache Cassandra for one of the projects, which is another type of um, database. It's a column database. Firebase, which is another remote NoSQL database we'll be using. And then MySQL and PostgreSQL, which are both relational databases. I'll show you how we can use those with Node.js as well. Okay, some of the template engines we'll be using, Jade, which is really popular, Express Handlebars, uh, EJS, and DustJS. And here's an overview of the projects. First, we'll have a simple web server. This will be very, very basic. We're going to take the uh, sample code from the Node.js website and expand on that. Um, project 2 will be a, just a basic Express website where I can introduce Express to you. Um, project 3 will be a user login system using Passport. Um, section 4 will be a blog system. Section 5 will be a community events application using Drywall. Section 6 will be a simple bookstore with PayPal checkout. Uh, section 7 will be a chat application using WebSockets. Section 8 will be a directory of doctors and we'll use Kraken which is an extra layer on top of Express. Uh, section 9 will be a portfolio application and we'll be using MySQL. 10 will be an e-learning system 
where uh, students and instructors can log in to register and teach classes. 11 will be recipe book and we're going to be using PostgreSQL which is a relational database and we'll also be using dust templates. And then uh, section 12 will be an albums manager where we can perform CRUD, CRUD operations on both albums and categories or genres. And for that we'll be